Sony PVM 411CE. It's a four in one, that is, it's four CRTs in one body, one unit. The size of the CRTs are four inch, which is each, and they are all black and white. And the typical application for this unit would be in security. The unit comes in this rack mountable configuration. You can see on the sides there the two holes to mount it into a rack. Eyes are standard. It has no sound whatsoever. There is no provision for sound. There are no connections for sound. There are no speakers inside. The unit weighs a fairly hefty 14.2 kilograms due to being largely an all metal construction almost. Let's have a closer look. By the way, the game on screen is Mad World for the Nintendo Wii. It's made by Sega. It came to mind because the game is actually black and white. I think maybe the blood in the game is red, but everything else is black and white, so I thought it'd be quite fitting to put it on. And the aesthetic of the game too has a lot of, it has between menus, on menu screens, it has like a black and white television vibe with a jittery, faulty TV presentation. So it suits things quite well. Now there's a power light on the front for each monitor to indicate if it's on. They're numbered one, two, three, four. One being on the left, right being uh, four being on the rightmost. Each unit has its own power button, on and off, in and out button to do that. There is contrast, brightness and V-hold controls. Those controls are quite sensitive. There's the Wii U, or Wii motion control sensor bar on top. All metal, all metal construction. That unit's all whole as it is. I'll, I've never had one of these undone before, and I will undo it shortly. Now, in order to repeat video signal across to each monitor, as I've done with Mad World, I've simply looped as an input, and then an output it's been looped to each monitor to to duplicate the picture several times there's the badge number or the the model number sticker made in Japan now I don't know a date on this particular unit and by the looks of it you might even say well this could be from the 70s or easily from the 80s it's such a such an old looking style that Sony has these in their catalogs in into the year, into the 2000s, it's virtually the same model. Different model number, but basically the same design. So it's perhaps not as old as it looks. It only requires one power lead plugged in. Has this little dongle dangling, you could say, IEC connector. There's where the regular IEC cable is being plugged in. Before we go inside, we'll have a closer look at what's here on the back with all the cables removed. So that's where I had the Wii into the video in then, and then looped out through there. 75 ohm termination on or off, and some adjustments there, focus, vertical size and vertical linearity. Now this is an interesting one. What's someone's guess out there for why is this here? Why do we have an external sink? We don't have it with... RGB or anything else, but just an external sink. And we have we have sink either being an internal or external. So that would select internal would be with with this one with composite video that has the sink built in, and then we can switch that down and go to external sink. As to what that sink is or what it's for, I don't actually know. There's your 75 ohm termination for the sink line, and that's repeated across all four I cable go under now right so here's the first piece taken off three screws to take that plate off and that reveals to you the power and how it's divided and goes into each monitor what you do to take each monitor out is undo the four screws on the bottom here there's four screws that hold in each monitor as you can see this one two three four take those four screws out and also pull the knobs off the front these just pull out like so. And then once you've done that, you can slip the monitor out the back, slide it out the back. There it is. Well shielded. 
Uh, we could go deeper, I suppose. Even um, even where it connects into its into its power. See that? There's the socket for the two power prongs. The monitor just lifts off like that onto those two prongs. I suppose we could go deeper and take take the shell off. Okay, there's the cover off that, and we can see the tube, tiny little tube. Let's see if we can get. It's still Sony. Japan, made in somewhere Japan, can't quite read that, little yoke wiring, even the little, the little anode connector there, a couple of boards, the tube's not a Trinitron, I doubt there's any sort of, there's no aperture grill or shadow mask inside, just one electron gun that hits the phosphor black and white much more easy. Now I do have a couple of little surprises actually in line with this monitor. That is I've got some NOS parts here. We'll have a look at these. So here we have it's labelled DC block high voltage and it's for the PVM-411. This is brand new and unused. So it's basically the flyback for that might function a lot different made in Taiwan. A few bare wires that you need to solder in somewhere and there's the little tiny little anode cap and the tiny little prongs inside. Put that away. We have another, have an actual spare tube here. Black and white picture tube again for the 411, made in Japan this time for the part number. So this is this is sealed actually. It's never been opened. I'll get a knife for that. You know, given that it's brand new, never opened, it's a little bit rattly. A little bit more rattly than I'd care to have it in. I mean, I don't really want to chew rattling around in them like that at all. It should be quite snug. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, you can see it's to have some cushioning in there though to stop that. I think. From the other end. A little piece of card there. We'll use the little tube. Oh, goodness me. Look at that. Brand spanking new. Oh, made by. Hakuto, Japan. Wow. It's got a cover on there. Protect it, gosh, isn't it? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's got a little a little cap on it. There we go. It's got what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pins. That back on very carefully. Wow, isn't that incredible? Well, we'll put that back in the box. Might even pat it in a bit better later. But just for now, we'll put it away. Well, that about wraps the video up. It's not exactly a monitor that's going to be used for any gaming application, really, not to any serious extent, but I thought it would be still worth having a look and sharing and experience what Sony's made over the years. So thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time.